Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this lovely shawl. Carmen, this tutorial is for you. You requested, so here we go. Okay, I am going to crochet this shawl using my baby blanket pattern that I have crocheted for a decade for a decade and I've been selling them on my Etsy shop so let me just pull that picture but I do not have this color unfortunately this yarn it's yarn art yarn so unfortunately I'm not gonna go out and spend money plus custom fluffy plus post postage fee I'm just gonna use the yarn that I have in my stash this is the baby blanket that I've been crocheting and I sold over four of these baby blankets I don't have anything in my stash to share it with you that I have crocheted already because I sell them and they leave the house. So I'm going to use this method to crochet the shawl. Okay, this is the yarn that I'm going to be using. It's a blend of mohair yarn and this is the color I have. Um, it depends on how long you want the shawl to be. So uh, if you're planning to make a long shawl, I would get two cakes to uh, crochet the length that you need but uh, this is just for uh, tutorial purposes I'm just going to show you how to make the beginning and then you can uh, crochet as long as you want okay so uh, it's going to be like a 3d shawl so I just pulled it by the inside I had this in my stash like I said I don't want to go out and buy uh, yarn for this uh, tutorial and the other thing, I do not use shawls, but sometimes it would be nice in the morning because it gets it's chilly, right? When you wake up, so you can put it over your shoulder. So uh, I do have lots of this yarn. I can always uh, continue crocheting. it. So I'm just going to show you how to start up the shawl and you can crochet as long as you want. I get questions like it depends on what yarn you're using. I would highly recommend to check it on the label. I, I just checked and I received another comment. What need, what crochet hook you use? Well, you need to look at your label and see what it says. See, I'll just grab this for a sample. So it says here, it says everything. I don't know why you guys are asking me that question. <laughs> it's funny though, because when you look at the label, it says a crochet hook, five millimeter uh, for knitting needles, 5.5 millimeters. So just follow the label. And uh, the other thing I would work with uh, what crochet hook uh, that I'm feeling comfortable with. Okay, so I'm going to do a magic loop, magic ring, and then what I'm going to do is chain three to go up. I'm using a 3.5. I don't know if I, if I don't feel comfortable, I can go to four or I can go down a crochet hook. So I'm going to, yeah, I think this is too big for this one, but let's see. Let's see how it goes. Uh, so three with the um, with the three chain with the three chain. Let me just move this. It's focusing on this camera. It's focusing on the background. OK, let's see. And if I'm going fast, you can go to settings and you can slow it down. I get that question a lot. Can you slow it down? Well, if I tape this, I'm not going to go back and tape it, right? That's <laughs> so funny. So you can go to settings and you can slow it down. And this is the slowest I can do a tutorial. I am sorry. <laughs> if you are a new beginner, then please don't watch the tutorial. It's it's like I can't go slower than this. And I can't go and start from the beginning on how to crochet, double crochet. So I'm saying four double crochet and count the th uh, three chain as a double crochet. So that is four. And you just do it like I am explaining uh, step by step. And um, yeah, so I hope these uh, comments are helping you. Uh, just You can go to settings and you can slow it down. Okay, so I'm going to chain one and I'm going to make total of uh, four sets of four double crochets, including the three chain. One, two, three, four. 
going to chain one again and then make my third. One, two, three, four. It's like making a granny square. That's what we're doing. Chain one and make the fourth. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to pull this. I'm going to shrink this to the middle. And then what I'm going to do is right here where we did the three chain. I am going to come here and I'm going to pull this by three. So I'm going to make this long than the double crochet, the height, I mean, two and then three. Okay. So I'm going to chain three, turn my work. That's the reason we did this technique to turn my work just like this. So right here I am going to make three double crochet where that one chain we did so one two three and this is how it looks like so far okay I'm going to chain one on that same spot on that same one chain I'm going to repeat one two three so I'm going to chain two and then right here where that one chain is right here I'm going to make again three double crochet at the beginning we did four double crochet now we're making three double crochets two three one chain and then we're going to make another three double crochet on that same chain okay chain two again and then we're going to jump to the next uh, chain that we did I know it's a little bit tough it's right here that we did that chain let me just see one two three just looking here we go it's right here so I'm gonna make another set one two three one chain again three double crochet on that same spot one chain okay so this is how it looks like so far let me look at it so this is where we're going to grow our shawl open and we're going to have leaves on this side both sides so this is the middle of the shawl right here okay so after finishing this set what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what we did that technique here pull it by three to do that I'm just gonna go in here and I'm going to pull it by three. So pull one, pull two, pull three. The reason we're doing this is because this part is going to be flat on our shoulder, right? And uh, I can weave this in later. So we're going to start the new row. And this on, on this new row, we're going to start making those fans, those leaves. So I am going to chain three. Turn my work just like this. This is how it looks like. So uh, I just wanted to comment on this. So every time when we turn, we're going to make a set where this one chain is. So three chain, one, uh, three double crochet, one chain, three double crochet. So I'm not going to come and let you know every time I do this part. So this is the area that we're going to do three double crochet 
one chain, three double crochet. I lost one of the chain. So I'm just going to come here and then make my three double crochet. one chain and then make another three double crochet and then this is never going to change we're going to do one chain okay here what we're going to do is we're going to put our uh, fans our leaves whichever you would like to call these on top right here where these uh, two chains are Make one double crochet. This is the first row of that uh, fan leaf. One, two, three, four chain, and then make another double crochet. Okay, just like this. Okay, so I made my three chain, one double crochet. I come on top of this double crochet and I make a double crochet. So on this four chain, I am going to make total of seven double crochet. So seven, we count this one eight, and then we make one on top of this double crochet. So total of, when you add them up, total of nine double crochets on this, uh, I'm call, I'm going to call this the fan. Yeah, maybe the fan shawl. I don't know what the shawl is named. Okay, so total of nine, seven, eight, and then one on top of this one. Okay, so this is uh, what we did on this row, and the rest are same. Chain one, it's a very easy shawl. Just grab the yarn from your stash, don't, don't go in, out and buy it. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have lots of yarn in your stash. You can even play around and make you play around with the colors. I just wanted to use this yarn because I just love the pastel. And it's nice and soft. So three double crochet, one chain, three double crochet, one chain, and then I just repeat this on the other side. So it's symmetric, right? Whatever we do here, we, do, we repeat what we did on this side. It's so easy. So I'm going to crochet and finish this row and I will come back to start the new row. It's just a repeat. Let me just show you one more time and then I will uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. I have a short period of time to do the tutorial so I make I repeat what I've been doing so far nothing different three double crochet one chain three double crochet yeah I think this is good 3.5 crochet hook is good so I repeat what I did so I want to make the side straight so I come to the first double crochet that I done and then I pull it by three, just like this. Chain three to go up. I automatically come into that one chain and then I start a new row. And then I make three double crochet, one chain, three double crochet. Okay, so we're starting the second row of the fan. One chain and jump and make a double crochet on top of the double crochet. And this is how it looks like so far. Okay, so I did my double crochet. Now we're going to make picots. One, two, three. Usually I chain four to make my picots. So I'm just going to come here and then make a slip stitch. Okay, without chaining or anything, I'm going to go to the next double crochet and I'm going to repeat this. Double crochet. One, two, Three, four, and then make my pico right here. So I'm going to do this eight times. One, two, three, four, and then right here, make my pico. One, two, three, four, 
make your regular double crochet one two three four make your picot you don't have to do it the way I do it you can do it whichever you like two three four One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this should be eight. Always go back and count. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, we're done. So on the last one, I'm just going to do my regular double crochet. And I'm going to repeat what I've been doing on the previous row. So I'm not going to go over it. And I'm going to make the same thing on this part as well. So I'm not going to come and repeat. It's the same technique that I'm doing. So when I finish this row, I will come back and I'll start a new row with you. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I already started the next row. I'm just repeating what I did on the previous row. I'm not going to go over it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start making new uh, fans. Okay, to do that, right here, instead of chaining one, I'm going to chain two. Okay, I made this so close. Let's shrink this. So, one, two. Make a double crochet. What am I doing? Sorry, not a double crochet. That's next row. <laughs> okay, so right here, what we're going to do is we're going to be closing the fan. To do that, I'm just going on top of that uh, double crochet, and then I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to skip one double crochet. One, oh, yeah. To do that, to give that, uh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. To give that um, 3D look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do front post. Yeah, I forgot. So right here, I'm going to come and I'm going to make a front. Uh, actually, that, yeah, it's a front post. So just like that, three chain. And then I'm going to skip this double crochet and on here, Right here, I am going to make a double crochet front post. Again, three chain, skip one, and on the next double crochet, make a front post. One, two, three. So we should have a total of uh, five, I believe. Yeah, five. Just looking, yeah. I'm looking at what I crocheted my baby blanket. So I'm looking at that and I'm following because. I don't, I should make a, gra uh, a graphic, yeah. So four, one, two, three, and then make my fourth two chain. And I'm just going to repeat what I did on the other side. Okay, so I will meet you at the end of the row and we will start the next row. And this is how it looks like. So it gives that 3D effect. I forgot to mention, uh, we need to make two chain when we're coming here because we're going to make a one fan here and one fan here. So I'm going to repeat what I did after finishing my three double crochet. I'm going to chain two and I'm going to repeat what I did just right now. Okay, so we're on the seventh row and we're going to start making fans right here where we did the two chain. And then we're going to make two fans here. So we're going to have a total of four fans on starting on this row. Okay, now let's... Uh, so we're going to chain one. And then right where we did the double crochet, we're going to make... A double crochet uh, no, the two chain we're going to make a double crochet and then what we're going to do is we're going to chain four one two three four and then make another double crochet 
Okay, so without chaining or anything, we're just going to jump where we did the three chain. We're going to chain three. And then we're going to jump to the next three chain. Chain three. And then we're going to jump to the next three chain. Chain three. Try not to chain tight. Then we're going to chain three and then jump to the next one. At this point, we're going to make another uh, fan. To do that, I am going to, where the two chain is, we're going to make a double crochet. Four chain. two, three, and then four, and then make a double crochet. So I'm going to repeat what we did on the other side. Chain one, and then come on top of this, and then repeat what we just did on this side. We're going to do the same on this side. So this is how it looks like so far. I will... Uh, finish this row or I'll just show it to you let me just okay so after finishing chain one this uh, increase that we well this is going to go all the way to the end so I'm going to do a double crochet where the two chain is one two three four chain and then make my double crochet just wanted to show so don't get confused and then just do your three chain single crochet and jump here and repeat what we did at the beginning be right back. Okay, so we're starting a new row. So we did a total of four single crochets. So now we're going to do three. And then we're going to make nine double crochets where we uh, did the two chain... Uh, four chain uh, two double crochet and then uh, yeah that's all we're doing on this row so I'm just gonna start chaining one and then chaining one and jump right here make it one double crochet so I will do total of nine and I'll be right back after crocheting the nine double crochet I am going to jump right into that three chain right here with a single crochet. I'm going to chain three and then jump into that three chain, make a single crochet. Two, so this is the second one. Three chain and then make another one. So we have a total of three single crochets here. One, two, three. Okay, and then I'm gonna jump here and then on top of the double crochet, I'm going to make a double crochet and I'm going to fill it with seven and finish it with the seven, eight, and then with the ninth, I'm, I will do it. Double crochet. Okay, so I just wanted to show. So I did my nine on the other side, nine double crochet without chaining or anything. I just go and jump on where the three chain is, make a single crochet, two, three chain. And then jump to the next one, make a single crochet, one, two, three chain, and then make a single crochet and jump here where the double crochet is and then fill this one. So this is all we're doing on this row. So I will finish this row and I'll come back and we'll start the next row. Okay, this is how it looks like. I'm going to, I already started a new row. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what we did here, uh, picots. We're going to make picots on top of this. So we're just repeating what we did here. And meanwhile, what we're doing is here we're shrinking and uh, we're going to make another fan on top of here. And then when we make another fan, we're going to make two here. So we will have three when we finish these uh, fans. Okay, so um, I'm just repeating what we did, and um, you can go back and watch it. It's nothing different. So I'm chaining one, and then I'm coming on top of here, 
and then I'm making a double crochet and then th four chain and then make my picot. Okay, so I will finish this fan and I will show you how to shrink the this part. Make it a V. Okay, so I just wanted to point out we made total of eight picots, not nine, right? We leave the one double crochet as just regular double crochet. So I'm just going to jump right here without chaining or anything. Make a single crochet, three chain, and jump right here. So this is going to be our last. See, we only have three chain, so we made a pyramid right here. Okay, now we're going to repeat what we did here without chaining or anything. Go on top of that first double crochet right here. Uh, right here. It's really hard to see between the single crochet and the double crochet. And then make a pico. So we repeat what we did. We make double crochets and picots on top. Eight time on the ninth we don't do. Okay, so this is all to it. So just repeat what, what, what I just showed you. Cool. And when you come here, you just do the regular thing. What we do, nothing. And then we repeat the picots with double crochets on here. And then jump right here without doing a, um, without making a, a chain. Jump right there. Make a single crochet, three chain, and then make the last single crochet here. Just repeat what we did here. Okay, so I'll see you on the next row. Okay, I just wanted to come back and show you. So I did the picots and, uh, you know, we're doing that pyramid right here. I'm going to call that the pyramid. So I, I come here and I make a single crochet. I chain three and then I make a single crochet here. So if you get confused, I just wanted to come back and show. And then without chaining or anything, we just jump and make a double crochet on top. And then we, I just repeat what I did so far. So I will finish this part and I will come back and we'll start a new row. And the new row is going to be doing those front posts on the back to give that nice 3D look, that 3D effect look on the picots to uh, show itself. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, so I just finished, I believe, the eighth row. I stopped counting. This is the ninth row. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. And uh, so we're going to start a new row. To do that, we're going to do that uh, <clears throat> uh, front post method. To for uh, and The front post is always done on the back side of the work. Just to point out, here we did here. So I'm going to do the same thing. So on this one, we're going to chain two because on the next row, we're going to start a new fan here. Okay, so one, two, focus, focus. <clears throat> and right here, we're going to make a double crochet. What am I doing? Sorry, not there, not there. That's going to be on the next row. <laughs> Okay, so right here, we're going to do a front post right here on that first double crochet. We're going to chain three. We're going to skip one. And on the third, we're going to make a front post again. Chain three. Skip one. Chain three. <clears throat> Skip one, chain three, chain three, double crochet. So we're going to skip one and then make the last one right there. Again, we're going to chain two because on the next row we're going to make a fad on this two chain. And then I'm going to repeat what I just did. Front post. One, two, three, front post. So it's just a repeat. If you notice how we did it at the first, first right here, we did the fan. It's the same thing. And every time we finish a new fan on top, we're going to make a new, new fan. 
on top we're going to use the same method make the pyramid and on top we're going to make a, a new fan here new fan here and then right here we're going to make the third fan and when we finish this three fans we're going to make five <clears throat> And then you continue making your fans the, uh, the length that you want. You continue crocheting. Double crochet, three chain. Skip one. Double crochet. Chain three. Skip one, make a double crochet on the next one. Chain three. You can use any yarn you want. I get that question a lot. What kind of yarn should I use? What weight should I use? You can use any yarn, any yarn you want. You just, if you're using a thinner yarn, you're going to crochet more rows. To, uh, to the yarn being thin so that will is a big uh, roll okay chain two we're done jump here and I'm just going to do my regular three double crochet on that one chain one chain three double crochet so this is all we have done on this row you know and then it gives that automatic it gives that 3d look the picots just jumps in on the front. So I will finish this this part and then we will start a new row. Okay, so I am going to start a new row. With starting a new row, I'm going to be making fans here. Remember we did two chain. So I'm going to start making a fan here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ch do single crochet well, first I'm going to do double crochet, four chain, double crochet, and jump here and make a single crochet, three chain, as we did here, right here. So I'm going to show you that. And then uh, it's just a repeat over and over. So we're going to make one fan here, one fan here, one fan here, and then symmetrical, like one fan here, one fan here, one fan here. And it's just a repeat of we did on row one. And row two, just a repeat, repeat over and over until you have five fans here, uh, seven fans, and then it goes up, uh, increases more and more the more you uh, crochet. So, right here, I am going to chain one, right here, chain one. And then where we did the two chain, I'm just going to go down there and then make a double crochet. Chain one, two, three, four, and then make the same double crochet as we did on all of our fans when we start. Okay, jump here where the three chain is and then make a single crochet. Automatically three chain. Single crochet on the next three chain. Three chain. And single crochet on the next chain, three chain, and then jump here. Make a single crochet. So we have total of uh, three chains, and then the next row is going to be two, and then the next row is going to be one as we did here. Okay, so right here I'm going to jump where the two chain is, and then make a double crochet. One, two, three, four, and then make another double crochet. And then repeat what we just did. So just to point out, so this, where the two chain we did is just on top of this fan. So if you look at it, it's just right on top of that fan that we're making a another fan. So every time we make a new fan, it's going to be on top of the first fan that we made okay so i'm going to jump where the three chain is and i'm going to do my decrease try to make the pyramid again one two three chain jump to the next three chain one two three chain and jump to the next three chain and right here 
So we did two chain, now three chain, and then make my next single crochet. And then right here, where it was the two chain, make a double crochet. So we don't chain or anything when we uh, go to the to make the double crochet. Four chain. So we're going to do a total of seven double crochets on the next row, including these uh, two double crochets. So a total of nine. So we're making a foundation for the next row to make that. And then chain one. And then go on top here where the one chain is. Three double crochet, one chain, three double crochet. And then we just continue making the same thing what we did here. It's always the symmetric. So let me finish this row and I will show, I will come and show you the next row. But it's going to be the same repeat uh, uh, what we did here. So let me show and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm on the next row, which I did my regular thing. I did my chain one. And then where the two double crochet four chain is, I'm going to fill it with one on top and same seven in the three chain, seven double crochet. So it's just a repeat over and over until the length that you need. I hope this tutorial uh, will help you how to crochet uh, this lovely, lovely 3D fan stitch. So I'm counting two, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so I just come here and I do my single crochet, three chain, jump to the next one. Three chain. Then single crochet on the next one. Then I come and I repeat each fan. So I'm not going to go over this. This is all we're doing. Okay, on the next row we're going to do the pico row. And on the next row we do the front, back, uh, front post on the wrong side of the work. So let me finish this fan. And I will show you how it will look like. And then you can continue crocheting yourself or else this tutorial will go forever. It's already over, uh, it's almost 40 minutes. So I don't want you to get bored. And I will be right back. Okay, so I've been crocheting and I finished the third of the fans. As you can see, it's getting really exciting and my color has changed from yellow to orangey color and it's going to turn to pink oh i just love it love it love it so i hope you like it too it's a super easy uh, pattern and um, just follow the steps that i showed and finish it up let's say you crocheted you crocheted the length that you need because the more you crochet the more uh fans you make on top of each, uh, each other the wider it will become and the longer it will become the wider this would become so like i said you repeat this and this this that's why i didn't go over it's the same thing over and over every row that we do and when we finish it we do that back post row that i did that i showed you on the first and the second uh, of the fan so you crochet double crochet on front post on the first you skip one you crochet front post pull and there's three chain between and uh, let's say you're not happy with the length so what you do is after finishing that row you do this part is the same and uh, when you finish this row always two chain on the last row if you want to make uh if you can finish it up if you want to continue crocheting you chain one and then you do double crochet this is how you start a new uh three four this is how you start a new fan and then you chain one oh you don't chain because we're doing the and then what you do is you come here you do a single crochet you do one two three chain I would just go back to the tutorial as how I showed you. It's the same thing over and over. You just do a repeat, three chain, 
And then we do the pyramid. I call this the pyramid, this part right here that we do. And then when you have, uh, when you're done with it, you do two chain like I did here. And then you make a new fan on top of this one. Okay, so, so on this one, we're going to have one, two, three, four new fan. And the next time it would be five and it goes like that over and over. So one, two, three, chain, go to the next one. One, two, three, chain. Okay, where am I? No, I'm not. So we did oh we already did one two three chain okay we're done with that part and then we're gonna come here make a double crochet one two three four chain always because we do remember we do seven double crochets when we're creating the new fan so it's just a repeat over and over so I'm not gonna go over it I just wanted to show you um, I'm going to end this tutorial because it's over 40 minutes. <laughs> if I'm going fast, I'm sure I'm going fast because I wanted to show you this tutorial as fast as I can, uh, easy as I can. Uh, if I'm going fast, please go to settings and you can slow the tutorial. It's so easy. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends and don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified indicating there's something new for you to watch. You, get, you guys take care. Happy crocheting. Bye bye.